Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here. Welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to the version 9.00 patch notes. We are live right now on stream. So everyone who's watching the stream, uh, we're going to go over these. Give me a second. I'm not going to be reading chat. We're going to focus on these notes and let's check it out. What does it say? Battle Royale for we don't care about Battle Royale. Battle Royale looks... Oh, it looks so good. Um, you know what? We're going to skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. If you guys want to check out Battle Royale stuff, I recommend you go uh, check out Monster D-Face. Awesome streamer. Awesome YouTuber. Um, he's got the he's got the Battle Royale stuff down. Creature Manager. Oh, my goodness. Creative. Creative's better. Creative's better. Creative's a little better. I, I like creative. Save the world. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go down here. Okay. No new game mode. All right. All right, save the world. Here we go. What's new? War games. Introducing war games. Take part in new and unique Storm Shield mission simulations to put your skills to the test. Okay, so so they're immediately dropping the Storm Shield stuff, and they didn't say anything. Okay, so. Uh, take part in new and unique Storm Shield mission simulations to put your skills to the test, which kind of makes me feel like we're going to have to be, we're going to be able to replay Storm Shields. Sounds pretty cool. Um, Tales of Beyond, Locke claims to have met a strange visitor unlike anyone or anything Homebase has ever seen. Join the hunt to find Locke's monster in Tales of Beyond. What? Tales of... Okay. Um, yes, thank you. For those of you who are saying right now in the chat, thank you very much. There's a lot of people saying uh, that they're going to buy the Season 9 Battle Pass with my code. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I know that there's not a lot that we can really purchase in Save the World. And I recommend you guys save your save your V-Bucks. Um, but if you guys want to support me in Battle Royale or Save the World, my creator code is DUJ2. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Garadon, go constructor on the husks with Garadon, comes equipped with a brand new constructor ability, constructor ability, batteries not included. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the first three things have nothing to do with Twine Peaks, and we heard that there were there was Twine Peak. That that's what we we heard. Twine Peak stuff, version nine, Twine Peak stuff. Storm Shield, War Games, Tales of Beyond, which sounds like a new quest line, a brand new quest line. Join the hunt, Tales of Beyond, and the new Mythic Constructor? It's probably a new constructor because it comes with a new ability. No, no, it's probably not. I don't know. Missions and Systems, here we go. Introducing War Games. Revisit your Storm Shield bases and test your defenses against some destructive and challenging simulations. Simulations will exist in all biomes and will be adding more as the season progresses. The first four are torn apart. Our tornadoes wrecking havoc on your four or oh, what? This simulation causes destruction to your structures, flinging players and enemies into the air. Does does this mean that the destruction stays or is it just a simulation? Hotspots, volcanic ruptures plague the stimulation, simulation as lava pools sprout from the ground, damaging structures and converting enemies into the fire element. Denied. During the course of the simulation, more and more anomaly risks appear around the defense point. Standing too close to these hazards will zap your energy and your health. Safety zone. With the main storm shield down, you will have to rely on portable shield generators. Stay inside one of these protective bubbles or feel the effects of the storm. Enemies will prioritize destroying the shield generators first, so keep them protected. What? This is this is a whole new. This is just. Each simulation requires the players to defend their base for seven minutes. A random amplifier is then selected to defend for another seven minutes. So fourteen minute total missions. Collect time cheats that appear the, around the environment. To reduce the wave timer so you could potentially do this in 10 minutes maybe war games ramps up the challenge by requiring another player to revive you when your health is depleted if everyone goes down you fail the war game so if you're playing solo you will only have one life to complete the simulation 
If the simulations aren't challenging enough, apply one of the new nine new challenge modifiers for some bonus rewards. These include, these challenges include rolling fog. A heavy fog obstructs your sight and enemies won't appear on your minimap. Close quarters. Enemy spawn locations appear much closer to your base. Husk swarm. Only husks appear in this challenge, but they are at a much higher power level. No building zone, no building, no repairs, and no pickaxe. Heavy explosives. Huskies explode when eliminated. Eliminate them before they get too close. Trapped out. All of your traps are, oh my gosh, all of your traps are disabled and none can be placed in this challenge. Full time. Time cheats don't appear in the stimulation challenge. Surprise, the war game simulation is randomized and will swap to a different one in the, on the second wave. Head games, damage enemies must be finished off with a headshot. Can you put all of them at once? That'd be fun. The war game's difficulty and rewards are based on the account level of the lowest player in the party and is average with public players that exist in your mission. This is to ensure that there is always a challenge in any Storm Shield location. War Game steps up the challenge as more players join the mission by increasing the enemy count and enemy power level. War Game uh, Games Event Quests. War Games are kicked off with the War Games Boot Camp Quest. These quests will help players discover all the fun of playing War Games while offering some nice rewards in the process. Learning can be fun. Each War Game simulation type offers a one-time completion quest which rewards event tickets and a unique banner reward to show off your accomplishment. Every War Games challenge has a one-time completion request which rewards event tickets. Oh, we have an event coming. Repeatable quests are available for completing both War Game simulations and challenges. War Game Daily Challenge Quest, it's all about War Games. Every day brings new challenges for War Games and your Storm Shields, requiring you to complete a simulation challenge combination in a specific zone. As you progress and unlock new zones in the game, you will unlock a War Games Daily Challenge slot associated with the zone for a total of four per day. Completing these will grant rewards such as event tickets and gold. Okay, so you can do as many as you want, but you need four per day. Storm Shield quality of life updates. When you start on Storm Shield defense or war game missions, your fort's layout is saved. After the current Storm Shield mission concludes, your fort is restored to the save state. This includes all structures and traps durability placed before you start the mission. Any structure or traps that are placed after the mission stat starts will be cleared after the mission ends. So make sure that you build your SSDs, make sure you build your traps correctly before because anything you build during is going to disappear. This is actually very perfect for the series that I'm working on, which is how to defend Twine Peaks. Enter your store and I, I'm going to have different ones for each wave and how to defend and how to build and everything. Um, Enter your community lookout. Enter your storm shield in any zone to join the community lookout program. Help other players defend their storm shield or jump into new war games missions as a change of scenery. This updated matchmaking system prioritizes storm shield mission types. Similar to play with others, though these matchmaking options offer 20% bonus XP before starting a storm shield defense or war games mission. Players can now opt to wait for assistance, requiring at least one other public player to join before starting the mission. Okay, so right there, that's all, that's War Games. That is a huge update. Guys, we are blindsided here. I don't think anyone had any clue that this was coming or this was going to happen. This is totally, completely wow. Okay, so it's a whole new game mode. And I, I don't know, we're going to have to try it out. Anyway, let's continue. That's all the SSD stuff. That's all War Games, which apparently came at the beginning of 9.0. Uh, reorganized Twine Peaks. Twine Peaks missions now follow a linear path for better readability than the previously existing structure. Added missions to each region of Twine Peaks to introduce more mission variety and to provide more mission loot rolling opportunities for players. Added at least one additional group mission per difficulty level. I really hope that we get to keep uh, resupply because it's my favorite. Um, reduce the frequency of XP rewards in high-end Twine Peak missions to allow other rewards types to appear more often. So what's that going to do to our current XP? Hmm. Uh, reduce environment health scaling in high-end Twine Peaks to not overtake pickaxe damage scaling. Target practice, a new secondary activity of skeet shooting is available in missions. 
How many clay pigeons can you shoot down? Really? We get side missions inside of missions? Huh. I like that. Um, target practice. Okay. Uh, the damage scaling. You know what? I was kind of hoping that the increased damage that was required to break things down in the new high-end Twine Peaks meant that we were getting a new pickaxe, hopefully. Apparently, no. They just reduced everything. So, you know, maybe in the future. Uh, the beta storms have moved on for now. <sighs> Look for them to return in the future. Mission alert scheduling and quarters have been simplified. Okay, so no beta storms, unfortunately. We'll see you again soon. Uh, mission alerts now appear on the map once per day at the same time each day. Midnight UTC, which is 7, 8, 8 Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Whenever the store resets every single day. Whenever the item shop resets. The llamas reset. Everything re resets. Which is nice. Uh, missions themselves also refresh on the same timer. Mission alerts no longer have a rolling 24-hour quota. Instead, each alert visible on the map can be completed one time per day. Mission alerts that you have already completed today will have a check mark appear next to them, indicating the mission alert will not grant any bonus rewards until it refreshes the following day. Weekly quest. A quest to complete 10 mission alerts will be granted to players once per week. Upon completion, you will be able to select a reward, a significant amount of either event tickets, gold, or perk materials. Um, if anniversary is coming in a couple of months, I recommend event tickets. If you need gold, gold. If you need perk material, oh my gosh. I can't believe you got to choose one though. Uh, okay. Uh, the quest difficulty requirements and reward quantities will scale up depending on your storm shield progression. Okay, it's time to grind that twines to 10. If the week ends while your weekly quest is partially complete, the quest progress will carry over to the next week. Really? Really? Rather than restarting with a new quest. Oh, that's nice. Bug fixes. Ensure that a mega alert appears on each group mission. UI added navigation arrows to choose between multiple events in the event callout interface in the quest tab. Re-enabled and made updates to the X-Ray Llama choice packs. The UI has been updated so that the card park perk pack choices are more vis visible on the shown x-ray items. I don't know what that means. Updated the all stats screen to update stats when team members change. Updated all stats screen to highlight team improved stats in blue to match text of the party members. Uh, bug fixes. Let's see what they're talking about bugs. Okay, fix the issue that caused blur schematics to appear in the store. Thank you. Fix being unable to hover when items when using a mouse on PS4. I did not know that was an issue. You can use a mouse on PS4. Gotta figure that one out. Uh, the yes no vote status of the party pl last player who voted an objective will now properly appear in the mission vote dialogue. Players can no longer slot an upgrade item in the collection book if the original schematic is unable to be recycled. This would initially create an error when attempting to over slot an item and provide unique schematics, like the bowler from being destroyed. Oh, dude, I'm sorry if anyone had that. The minimap will now correctly display important mission information after closing the big map. Good. Menu text will no longer rapidly change sizes when the player hovers over the menu buttons. Performance. Reduces hitches related to player connecting to a match while other players are already in the zone. Reduced in-zone assets. Loading around hoverboard. Use gameplay effects and audio. Improve frame rate when rendering the HUD. Reduce cost of supporting interaction with quest items. Resolve the source of big hitches due to loaded abilities. Improved rendering performance on Xbox One. And fix an audio glitch hitch when the player is sent an idle message. Okay, so right here, bugs and performance. We're going to have to wait and see and see just how effective this has been. Heroes. We've added a new hero to the event store, Black Knight Garadon, a new mythic constructor. He is mythic. Uh, new team perk, Kinetic Overdrive. Kinetic Overload occurs an additional time. Oh, requires three constructors with three or more stars. Man, if you're all about the constructor life, mm, that's good. Uh, new ability, Going Constructor. Equip a hammer, which deals an enormous amount of physical damage, and a shield that reduces 95% from the... From the front last 16 seconds? Okay, the Baron just got that much better. The Baron just got that much better. People are saying that they wish that the, it looked like the Black Knight. Uh, nah, man, look at that. Look how cool he looks. 
He looks amazing. He looks awesome. I love it. I love how he looks. It's it's us. It's for save the world. It's not for battle royale. This is for, this is for us guys. Of course, that skin's gonna show up in battle royale in no time. <laughs> um, <laughs> standard perk Knight's Impact increases hardware impact by thirty three. Commander perk Knight's Impact Plus, and the game is down. Uh, increases hardware impact by 75%. Additionally, going constructor can trigger kinetic overload. Wow. Okay. I'm not a big, you know, builder, constructor, kinetic overload kind overload kind of thing. But I gotta tell you, I'm gonna have to try this. Because this, this seems cool. We're introducing a new dinosaur hero. Paleo Luna, the new dinosaur ninja. Standard perk, Saurian Claws. At five per adds 5.5 of current health to melee weapon damage. Commander perk Saurian Claws Plus adds 16.5 of current health to melee weapon damage. Wow! Obtainable from yes, the Tales from Beyond questline. We are gonna get a brand new questline. What the what? Amazing! New team perk Blast, and she's gonna be mythic. She's going to be mythic. It's got a new team perk. Blast from the past. Acquired upon acquisition of any dinosaur hero. Wait. Wait. Are we finally going? Yeah, I know, Titan. Yeah, 16.5% of 300k health. Are we... Are we finally going... We're finally going back to the past. The night dinosaurs. We're gonna get more dinosaurs. They're not gonna leave it just at two. Cause hybrid is considered a, is hybrid considered a dino? I don't know. Is hybrid considered a dino? Requires two dinosaur heroes. There's gotta be more dinosaurs heroes coming. Hybrid is a pirate, he's not a dino. Okay, so we can't even use her. We can't even use her perk because it needs two dinosaur heroes. Requires two dinosaur heroes. Oh my. Removes all shield and increases max health by 200%? What? Oh my. I can't. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. 200% health. Who cares about the shield at that point? Oh. <gasps> Pure survivalist Jonesy. Oh my gosh. Visual update to kinetic overdrive. Okay. All right. Bug fixes. Suppressor fire will no longer gain unintended bonus damage from critical hits. Oh, okay. Uh, what, really? Suppressor fire was getting unintended bonus damage? Grenade generation no longer only counts ranged weapon eliminations. Commander Renegade will no longer appear as Special Forces Ramirez on PS4. Miss Bunny Penny can now properly be retired. Players can no longer heal themselves by passing through alleys with face siphon. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. Hunter's Instinct will now properly life leech off melee weapons only. Bull Rush will no longer push defenders. Okay, um. Ninjas, man. Ninjas, ninjas, ninjas. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting excited here, but ninjas. I, I, we just proved in the last couple of days that level 128 missions are completely doable with ninjas if you build them correctly. Focus on your sword, use that, um, use that shadow stance, and you can, you don't die. You don't die. And ninjas hit like a truck. It's awesome. This, this right here, this. It's going to make ninjas. It's going to make ninjas OP. It's going to make ninjas so OP. Weapons and items. Steam skewer, the steampunk spear. Hey, we're finally getting it. A spear that uses long range thrusting attacks to deal high damage and impact. Available in the weekly store from May 9th uh, until May 16th. So it will already be in the store when the game comes back up. Bug fixes. Weapons no longer visibly eject energy shells after changing the effects quality setting. One bullet reload per weapons now reload properly. Uh, gameplay. Oh. 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 Visual. Okay. Who, who cares? Enemies. Blaster. All new art and animations. We're getting new blasters. 
Blaster is now more resistant to being interrupted and knocked back by weapons and trap impact. Uh, blaster blast attack accuracy has been adjusted. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does that mean it's not going to stick on you and shoot you no matter where you go? Or does this mean that they've improved it and it's going to be even worse now? Fewer blasters are allowed to show up at one, any one time. Yeah, because sometimes you'd, you'd get four, five, six blasters in a single encampment. Up to eight and they just, they would destroy you. Poison Lobbers have returned to their old skull, skull throwing cells. Lobbers will now appear less frequently in low level zones as they did before the love storm arrived. Art and animation fix the hole that could appear in Autumn City maps. Huh. Audio. Hoverboards mount audio no longer plays an increased volume. Thank you. Music will no longer restart when tapping in and out of the game. Thank you. Medbot revive audio now respects player volume settings. Thank you. Imp imp Pickaxe impact audio now plays correctly after swinging multiple times. Thank you. Added auto ambient music to auto maps. Thank you. Update deliver the bomb manufacture and launch sounds. I have experienced all of those. So thank you very much for picking that. Okay. So that's it guys. That's it. And le let me just show you guys. Let me just show you guys what, what, why I have, I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I am happy guys. This is amazing. This is humongous. This is awesome. So we're going back in time. We're going back to the paleo area. I don't know. Um, but before we end the stream, or the, sorry, not the stream, just this video. The stream will continue. L let me show you. Let me show you guys this. See this? See this right here? See that right there? Those three little bullet points. Those three bu little bullet points is all we knew that was coming. The entire version 9 design chat was focused on these three little lines. We had no idea that there was anything coming until they said something about war games, okay? They said something about war games coming. <laughs> Thank you for lemon. Um, they said something about war games coming uh, to, to, you know, to, to, to save the world yesterday or earlier today, I guess, like, what, eight, ten hours ago? And we were like, okay, cool, war games. Something called war game co is coming. Not only is there an entire game it's an entire game mechanic okay this is an entire game mechanic that is being pushed out to us all at once with 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 no notice or anything war games is an entire brand new game mechanic an entire new look at all that look at all that that's all war games No warning or anything. And, and we also have a brand new event. We also have a brand new event. Tales of Beyond. Tales of Beyond. That sounds interesting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm shook. I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. You know what? Someone did just say, Chris just said, that's how a night date should be. No spoilers. You know what? You're right. You're right. No spoilers. And it this is just just I'm going to be live until the game comes back. If you guys going to come hang out with us during the stream, I don't know. We're going to sit and talk about this for a while. Uh, we may play some other games while we wait for, for it to come back. World War Z, I would love to play the game. Thank you very much, all of you guys who are watching. Thank you very much, uh, those of you who are using my supporter career code. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm not going to end my stream. I'm going to end this video right now, so everyone watching the stream, if you guys want to stick around, we can talk more about this. But thank you very much for watching, guys. The last thing I'm going to say, because I have to say it, is... Uh, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this in the most positive way that I can say it because it needs to be say that, said that way. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this in this, in this way, please understand guys that whenever they release something of this magnitude, the amount of, of people that can play it, uh, can play test or test play this kind of stuff is very, very small. I doubt that they, I doubt that they have more than a, you know, maybe a, dozen people maybe even less maybe they have more i don't know uh who can play test these kind of changes brand new game mechanics entire new events storylines all of this new heroes so much is coming 
So please understand, we are still in beta. Yes, I know we've been beta almost two years, but we are still in beta. So having this gigantic just thing coming right now, it's huge. It's huge. It's gigantic. Um, I completely understand if you know what, we are going to experience some bugs, okay? Because having a group of, I don't know, a dozen people or maybe even less, maybe more, play testing a, a change, a, an update of this magnitude will will show some errors. I mean, it will show some errors. It will show up, you know, some some bugs, some hitches, etc., etc. But, 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 in a couple of hours, thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people are going to be playing Save the World. And you know what? We're going to find bugs. We're going to find stuff that they didn't see. And on top of that, you have to also remember that Fortnite is all of one big giant jumble in one server. Creative, Save the World, Battle Royale, it's all the same code. So if they change something like taking something out of Battle Royale, it's very possible that it will create some major problem over in Creative or Save the World and vice versa. So I asked this, guys. Yes, it's understandable that, you know what? Let, let's be understanding. Let's help Epic Games. If there is a bug, report it to Trello Board, report it within games, report it to, in Reddit, you know, let them know. Um, but at the same time, and this is the, the other half of it, Epic Games, please let us know. Let us know if you have identified something. If a massive amount of people are telling you this is happening, this is game breaking, this can't work, this is, you know, I lost all my stuff or something like that, please let us know. You know, give us a Twitter post, give us a Reddit post, something on Trello, something in game to say, you know what, we've identified an issue, please don't do X, Y, Z or something, you know, until it can be fixed. So, there may be stuff that's going to happen, guys. <sighs> Let's cross our fingers and hope it doesn't because this is just, I'm shocked. I am just, I, I don't even know where to start here. I'm glad we have a couple hours to talk about it because we're going to need to. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been Fortnite Save the World talking about the version 9 patch notes. For those of you watching the stream, don't worry. I'm not ending the stream. I'll be right back. For those of you watching this video right now, if you want to come down to the stream, we'll be we'll be live until the game comes back live. Thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.